Well, good morning, guys. So, got a few things coming today. I think we're going to do a box opening video of the Pajero radiator, alternator, headlights, some other stuff. And uh, But today our pri priority is on this driveway here. Looks like they already filled in a lot of that. That used to be a big hole right here. So, that's good they got that filled in there. Morning, Ray. Mayo Buntag. <laughs> Two at a time, huh? <laughs> so we have to move all those bricks up, and we have to move the sand up. Uh, but the delivery, so normally the delivery people are able to get up the driveway, no problem. And they've always been able to put the sand and gravel on our property. But this time... Uh, when we arrived here, they were already unloading here because they couldn't get up the hill. And uh, the neighbor wasn't happy about that. And I said, well, there's absolutely no way I could have predicted what they were going to do. <laughs> Every time in the past, they they got up the hill and were able, to, uh, were able to put the supplies on our property. So not much I can do without a crystal ball <laughs> beyond that but anyway so today we're taking care of it we're gonna fix the driveway here and there that's gonna be first priority and what else yeah the neighbor was like so why didn't you tell me ahead of time that they were gonna be putting the materials there and I said I didn't know they were putting the materials there I arrived just after the delivery truck and they were already finished unloading basically. Dr. Titoy. My Buntag. There's our rebar. Chicken. Oh, you want to cuddle, huh? Why is the box cover so dirty? The lid. Was it outside? Oh, it's the outside one, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so after the CR, uh, the next project will probably be doing this area here. So we're going to cement the floor, put a wall there, a door here, a door over there, and keep these doggone chickens out. That's Greg there. I'm old Greg. And Jaja's gotten down the system of when it's sunny use the electric burner and when it's not sunny use the gas so cut down our use of natural gas huh isn't that right do you cut down your use of natural gas mm -hmm. yeah you sure they're falling down should we cut them um, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I don't think so. I think they just they do what they do, don't they? Keep dying and then we plant again. Really? That's no fun. I thought, uh. Well, it's not dying. That's not dying at all. Yeah. 
planting. Mhm. Well, there's the baby. Huh? <laughs> yeah, they are heavy, yeah. Oh, it's cement. Well, we can. No. No, the stroller, no. How about that and a cooler back? Yeah, uh, not bad. A lot of these will just crumble easily in your hands. This one, that's better than most. Yeah. We need to move our roosters. Uh, I still have to get the PVC. I still have to get the pipe. Not on the list. And a toilet. No, it's not on the list. And the wood, the 2x2 two two mahogany for the form. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still he's looking for his female. Uh, he wants his girlfriend. Which one is it? The black one. The black one. He likes the marina. Huh, babe? He likes the marina. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? I don't know. You name him. Huh? Uh, how about Steve? I don't know. What do you think? That's Scotty. Scotty? <laughs> All right. <coughs> and that's Jim. That's Jim. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, someone said you have to name the motorcycle, by the way, and that's true. You have to name, when you have a special vehicle, you have to give it a name. So, what's a good name for girl or boy? Hmm? Girl, girl's name? Yeah. Always. Can you think of anything? You want to bring the rabbits out or no? Yeah. Huh? That one's Scotty? Mm -hmm. So what are you going to name the Honda? <laughs> uh, it's Red Riding. Red Riding Hood. Huh? Red Riding It's too long, babe. It's fine. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be more than three syllables, like Ruby. Like Ruby. Well, that's what my parents named their, their Jeep Rubicon. <laughs> Rubicon, Ruby. So their Jeep, their Jeep is called Ruby. Oh, there's a crow. Huh? There's a crow over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, para mabuha kuan siya ma ano mo ano yung bunga niya matanggal para hindi matanggal mm parang maka ayan ang lalaki this is a male they said this is a male so you have to put it here to give to give the other what they call Fertilize. Fertilize so they don't get rot. So yeah. they don't get rot. 
die. So they don't die. Ray, I think this one is alive still. Maybe. I think so. Maybe. If you look here, it's still green. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's still alive, huh? Yeah. So that might actually grow. That's the guava. Yeah, guava. Oh, yeah. Slippery. <laughs> Bought this in France about seven years ago, maybe eight. Solar powered coffee. <laughs> what do you want to do today, babe? Do you need help? Do you want us to help? Yeah. Hey, babe, how many bricks can you carry on your back? One. One. How about red tea? How about what? What is it, babe? Red Siam. That's three syllables. Red Siam. The name should not have more than two, but okay. So we're gonna call it Red Siam. Or Siam. Siam. Let me see what it is. Do you have a picture? I never heard of that one. It's this one. Oh yeah, yeah. That is the. That's really the color, isn't it? I don't want to call it Ruby. No, my parents already have that name. Why do they? Why don't you want to call it Ruby? Like, <clears throat> why do you say you don't want to call it Ruby? Because it's very common. Look. Mm -hmm. Why do Why they don't have a different name for dark pink and hot pink? What do they call it? Dark pink and hot pink. <laughs> why? Yeah, I don't know. See, light rose and rose. But the reds have different fla different um, yeah, different siam, flavors, different names, right? Light siam, siam, dark siam. Mm. Red siam? Yeah. Siam in Tagalog is nine. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Count to ten in Tagalog. <laughs> Can't hear you at all. Can you say it louder? Isa dalawa tatlo apat lima anim pito walo siam sampu. Okay, so it's only the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 that sounds like Spanish, right? Like what is 50? 50. Yeah, 50. Okay, now that is very Spanish. That's so weird. So everything between. So what is what is what is 55? Ah, okay. Cinco. Yeah. But when you said one, two, three, four, five, on five, you didn't say cinco. Lima. Huh? Lima. Right. So what? <laughs> I found a little. Ah, limang put lima. I'm saying uh, Spanish words. Limang put in Tagalog. Fifty is limang put. Ah. So fifty-five is limang put lima. Ah, okay. Yeah. So then, why did you say sequenta cinco? Because whenever we whenever we have change or we we pay, how much is it in cincuenta? And why? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's definitely Spanish for sure. It's Latin. When we count, we count Tagalog. But when we pay, for example, on the on the store, cincuenta. Yeah. Magkano cincuenta? Cincuenta y cinco. Yeah, that's the difference. Okay. It's not like. So counting pay. and prices are different. Yes. Ah, learn something every day, huh? Yeah, sequentas, yeah, definitely Spanish. So again, for our, our viewers out there, someone commented, someone commented how Filipinos remind them so much of Mexico and Mexican culture. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, if the Philippines is the only country that's been colonized by the Spanish that's mm -hmm. not officially called Latino culture. Yeah. But it's absolutely Latino culture, yeah. absolutely. Like Filipino, Filipina. Yeah, it's not Asian, it's Amigo, Latino. Amiga. Yeah.
You guys eat a lot of rice, but that's that's as far as the Asian goes. Amigo friend means. Yeah, amigo. Yeah. Stephen Ray. Yeah. Yeah. Very. It's Asian Mexico, Philippines. Yeah, Asian Mexico. Yeah. And I say that in nothing but the nicest way. I wouldn't be here otherwise. Hi, see ya. Okay, see ya. Yeah, that's a good name. But it doesn't sound feminine, it sounds masculine. See ya. Does it? Did you, did you post it already? Did, did I do what? Post it already, the, the land? I think you should post it and not uh, like edit ah, it much. Okay. Okay, I'll do that next. I'll do that now. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yep, I'll edit right now. You're so pushy, Ray. You're so pushy. You're always shoving me around, huh? Tell me what to do, huh? <laughs> So after this, let's fix the. Um, Rod. Yeah. Yeah, I will go out the way first. Because we don't need more. Yeah. I will wait for the way for go out because you have a car. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Wait for her to drive out, and then fix the cement. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly right. Cool. Rhinestone, in Tagalog of rhinestone, rhinestone or diamond. I don't. Can you hear me? I don't know. Can the phone hear me? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the Tagalog of rhinestone or diamond is diamante. Diamante? Diamante. Ah, yeah. diamante. Diamante. Absolutely Spanish. <laughs> and then how about rhinestone? Diamante. Same. They're both the same name? Rhinestone and I think it's the same. Okay. How about how about um Simulant originally? Well what is Ruby in Tagalog? The Ruby, the stone. Ruby. Wait, hmm. So there's okra there. Another okra. We moved this one, that's why the leaves are dying, but it's got new leaves coming out, so I think it's adapting okay. That there is a mango. And this we got it, Scotty. And this one is cucumber, I believe. That's cucumber, and then that's guava, papaya, uh turmeric, and lots of chilies as usual. And then these jackfruits I planted from seeds about maybe six months ago. And I've got two of them, two of them that are as tall as I am. This one right here. That's uh, calamansi, 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 which is basically like a lime, small lime. There's another calamansi. Obviously pumpkin, there's another jackfruit. This is the tallest jackfruit from a seed here. And now it's taller than me. Like literally last week it was slightly shorter, now it's taller. Oh, spiders. Then more chilies, tomatoes, lots of tomatoes. And again, we've got about uh, 1,200 liters of water storage. And we're going to add another one here. So off of here is going to be a tube to another 200 liter. So it'll be at 1,500 about. And then that's going to go to the CR. So there's going to be a tank sitting up here with a gutter like that. And then a pipe going down into a faucet. So you'll be able to... Fill a bucket, and then there will be another pipe that goes into the toilet tank. So we're going to have a normal, proper flushing toilet. 
Because nothing but pure luxury for us. Huh, babe? Nothing but pure luxury for us, right? <laughs> nothing but the finest. That's actually true when it comes to food, though. When it comes to nutrition, we take that pretty seriously. Hmm? Let's do the opening, yeah. Yeah. Did you tell them that we want here? So they know. I will tell you that you have a. Your property is too big. Is what? You told them that uh, we want our property to be surveyed. Yes. Okay. Right. Yeah. Come on. The surveyor is coming. I will finish here. Is I will transfer here. When they okay. finish there and then they saw them, they gonna mess. They gonna talk to them and come here. Okay. Cool. We got to get this figure fixed. Yeah. No more. Uh, no more. Blah blah blah. Yeah. The, nice because the, the property is clear. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. No young. No young. One more. One more. One more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly right. The pick is the meter. Yeah. Measurement. What do you think? What's your opinion, Ray? What do you think? What do you think about 450? Do you think it's it's good? We're okay or? You think more that way? Maybe more. A little bit. Yeah? For 50. More a little bit. They have a natural sense of land size. So, okay, so back there, against that, back to that hill there, the cut, like this, to there, and then you think that way more? Yeah, maybe. Maybe? Maybe. I hope so. Okay, yeah. cool. Box opening. Are you excited to see a bunch of Pajero parts? Can't wait, right? You got all knocked up, didn't you? Hmm? Hmm? You got knocked up, didn't you? Hmm? It's already pregnant. Out huh? there being naughty, already huh? Hard. Oh boy. Well. She's still small, and we didn't. Are you ready for more of those? Meow, meow. We didn't realize that, oh yeah, we have to fix the yeah. baby because it's too small. Yeah, they still look like Who's kittens. Who's gonna believe it's already, she's already six months? Mm -hmm. I think more than, oh yeah, that's about right. There's another, uh... Okra. <laughs> it reminds me of something. So the neighbor's gone, so we can start repairing the road. How many bags of cement you think for that? Huh? I hope so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And they gave us a free shovel yesterday. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, shovel. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> I saw the other shovel down there too already, right? The other the, shovel? The one. Down? Yeah. Yeah. What you doing? He's not a baby, he's a smart boy now. This is this as a candle. It's for birthday, mommy. Ah, birthday. Oh, how cute is that? 
Daddy. Mm -hmm. French is French. Is that French? Yeah. Good. Oh yeah. Duh. Tu parles français? Hein? Tu comprends un petit peu? Oh my goodness. Good boy. Good job, baby. These. These. Yay! <laughs> Good job, baby. Bye -bye. Is this her chest? Or this is her chest? Oh, how many Huh? Well, that's a good question. Is this your elbow? Oh, this is your elbow. <laughs> no, that's wrist. I can answer that one. The first one is a good question. Is this your chest? chest? Or this is, this is the chest? your chest? <laughs> or this is your chest. Hmm? Well, down there is the belly with all the babies now. You ready for a bunch of babies? Yay! Really? A bunch Yay. of kittens? Yay! Okay, don't. Okay, fine. Okay. He said, be careful, I'm pregnant. Jeez. Yeah. Don't, don't squish me. Don't squish my babies. Okay. Absolutely. Great job. <laughs> Great job! Three, go. Absolutely! One, two, three, go. Great job! <laughs>